Uh, with us today is Anna Loisel, a good friend of our show. Uh, she is a professional matchmaker and relationship coach here in Albuquerque and does a lot of work both here and all over the country helping people with their relationships, their marriages, putting people together and hoping love happens. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for having nice me again. Have yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, uh, you, you've got a new thing going on here. <laughs> I and that's what <laughs> a new thing. Yeah, a new thing. Uh, we're going to talk about it today. Um, you, uh, first of all, your background. You, you help couples work on their relationship. Mm -hmm. Plus, okay. you do some matchmaking and things like that. And I've mm -hmm. done it for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I am, I am a relationship coach, and I also own a matchmaking business here in Albuquerque. Um, but my passion is coaching couples, working with couples, helping them have successful relationships. Hmm. And so I'm, I'm a coach, I'm not a therapist. And right. I see. Yeah. How is the relationship climate right now, maybe just in Albuquerque or everywhere? Because right now, <coughs> I was just telling one of my friends earlier, I was like, it seems like everybody's getting married or having babies. And <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and you're feeling left out? Uh, like, I'm not in a rush. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So the climate is in, oh, are, are like, are more people getting married yeah, than usual? Yeah, it seems like it yeah. to me. I, you know, I, I, would, know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I see people who are typically already married okay. um, in, yeah. my, in my uh, coaching practice. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. It would be interesting if we could even find out statistics. I guess you could look yeah. up marriage licenses. Yeah, yeah I guess you could. That would be interesting, yeah. Sure. Yeah. What kind of work are you doing with couples? And specifically, uh, they're bringing you their problems or their issues or, or their um, we're not on the same page kind of issues, and you work them through that. Yeah, so correct. Right. Mm -hmm. So my approach, coaching is different than, than therapy. Sure. Uh, therapy, you know, is working with diagnosed or dis, you know, dysfunctions. Mm -hmm. You know, we sure. know that there's something going on with an individual that they need support in. Where, and there's a little bit of crossover, so people get a little funny about the definition. But, yeah. but coaching is really about taking couples who say, you know, we're, we're mentally healthy, but mm -hmm. we want a brighter future. We know there's right. more. Yeah, we're, we're having trouble getting along. Uh, we are overreactive, you know, somebody's upset a lot, that mm -hmm. sort of a thing. So that, those are the things that I work on. What's probably the biggest issue that you see that couples have? Generally, it's just um, overreactivity, mm -hmm. you know, being overreactive, um, when it comes to, you know, something that our spouse does. Yeah. Uh, the other is, and, and so then that creates problems with the communication because then we're, instead of speaking to our partner about what's happening inside of us, mm -hmm. geez, I'm really scared, geez, I'm really frustrated, it can be a, more of an attack. Right. Mm -hmm. more of an attack you know so oh, you know you're a blah 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 and i can't well, stand it yeah <laughs> yeah just a back and yeah, yeah a lot of, a lot of this. And the name calling starts yeah the name calling the yes i like that the finger point well i don't like it but that's what happens <laughs> yeah, the finger yeah. pointing the, a lot of blaming and so then you know we become defensive i mean mm -hmm. our mind is wired for that if it it, yeah. it sees us as sure. a perceived attack because it is a you're perceived, gonna defend yourself. you're going to defend yourself. So teaching couples to not start that way, to be more in control of themselves mm -hmm. um, so that they can speak in a way that their partner's likely to hear them. So that's, yeah. that's really what I do. Uh, the term I hear a lot is you know, there's a, a fair way to fight if, uh, there's, and there's not a fair way to fight if you're a couple. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you have a dispute with your spouse, what's the best way, in your opinion, to... <clears throat> Get it on the table and get get some resolution. It depends good, on what the, depends that's a on good what question. the dispute yeah, is. Yeah, it depends on what the dispute is. Sure. I, I think the, the the key to it is is not being reactive, not blaming your partner, listening, not huh? not not necessarily listening. What you really mm -hmm. need to do is be able to be in control of your emotions, right. so that you're calm enough to be able to talk to your partner instead of being reactive and speaking from a place of a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. um, when we're in that space, that's when we start. You know, the name calling happens. We start getting defensive, or you know, uh, accusing our partner of things, and they're not going to listen. So it's mm -hmm really being able to just calmly say, here's what I'm feeling, here's what's going on inside of me, 
here's what I, you know, am needing. Are you willing, are you willing to meet that need? And our partner can go, well, yes, maybe. And that's where the negotiation process starts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what, what is probably like the best time for somebody to finally realize, look, we need to see somebody, we need help because we fight too much or whatever it is. Yeah. I would say it's before you get married, uh, not, not after, <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know, our divorce rate's really high. We've got it a 50, yeah, yeah, we've got a 50% divorce rate on a, on a first marriage. And if you get a divorce, go into another marriage without getting any new skills, you have the same exact skills in the first marriage mm -hmm. that you're going to have in the second marriage, the likelihood now increases that there's only a 40% chance you're going to make it. Oh my gosh. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's really about learning the skills. I mean, think about it. When did we in our lives get a class on relationships? Yeah. Like never, right? I mean, we just, no, we don't. I didn't take that yeah. class in school. So. Yeah, we didn't get no. that one. <laughs> no. We didn't get that one. It wasn't offered, so right. you have to learn the hard way. Yeah, yeah. well, and I, and I would say, you know, prevent that, be proactive and, and start before you get married. But, you know, if you're already married and, and you're seeing where you're struggling over differences, that's typically when the problems start to happen mm -hmm. is over differences then start coming right away because those are going to they're going to build if you haven't resolved one now you've got another and another right. and now and now there's a lot of frustration and hurt that'll start to happen the hardest lesson to learn is to figure out what women want and what men want and they're different things mm -hmm. for example I, I my long life i've learned that women don't always we're we're wired as men to try and fix things mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. when there's a problem and the lady is unhappy, we're trying to fix it. When maybe all she wants is for you to listen to yeah. her. Yeah, often. Often a woman yeah. wants empathy, right. um, to be understood. Right. Uh, she doesn't really need help in fixing things. And so right. that can be frustrating. Um, right. and, and so that is, that's just a difference. We're trying to rescue you them. Rescue. They don't want to be rescued. Right. <laughs> they I just want to be heard. That's one of the biggest <laughs> problems guys have is they want to like come real quick with a solution or an answer. Right. Like, I didn't ask you for your opinion. You know? yeah. I just want you to hear me. I just want you to hear me. Yeah. And, and conversely, women need to understand what men need to feel like uh, they're appreciated yeah. and, yep. and uh, valued. and uh, Very much so. And they have a whole certain set of circumstances as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah most definitely. Uh, there is a difference between how men and women think. And the sooner that couples can understand that, then they'll quit fighting against it. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a woman often wants a man to relate to her like a woman, and he doesn't know how. You can teach him, uh, but don't, don't expect that, that it's going to come natural because, you know, men do want to jump in and fix. And also women need to know that men want to be validated for their their right. efforts and, and who they are. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's show, a, 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 I'm excited about this uh, new well, it's not a book. It's really more than a book. It's it's a whole program. It's called Rewire Your Mind for a for a loving marriage, a complete marriage. And I think this is first of all that looks great, Anna. Thank you. Um, Thanks. So what's in this program? Uh, so Rewire Your Mind for a Loving Marriage is a tra marriage transformational system. Mm -hmm. So it comes with. A, it's a home study uh, program, right. okay? Mm -hmm. And it comes with a con coaching component. So it, the home study course comes with a workbook. It comes with DVDs to support you in around the Wonderful. workbook. Mm -hmm. And then it has a, a daily mindfulness guide that you read to support the work that you're doing. Um, then the other piece of it is, is that they get a membership into a... Uh, portal where there's continuing education and Aww. support and coaching uh, calls. They get That's to really meet cool. with me. So this is available all across the world. It's not just something that, you know. This is brand new too, isn't it? And it is brand new. It actually is getting launched on the 14th of November. I'm doing a free webinar uh, Thursday, November 14th at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, and at the, I'm it's called Train Your Mind, Change Your Marriage. That's the name of the webinar. And I'm just teaching ab about the concept of neuroscience and what so neuroscience, you know, what we're finding about the brain mm -hmm. and how it's impacting marriages. There's, if you can get control over your mind, you've got a lot, you know, a lot's going to happen for you. You're going to have a much more successful relationship. So the webinar is free. Anyone can come. I will talk more about the program and the cost of it and what it's mm -hmm. all about. So it's exciting stuff. I'm 
I'm Who's the really neat thing, Aaron? Yeah, She's going to be on our program on a regular basis. Yes, every Wednesday. Right? Yeah. I am going to be here every Wednesday. I know. Well, that's good. exciting. We're going to help some people, and that's, that's what it's about. We are. That's what we want. It's great to see you again, Anna. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. So Thanks, yeah, guys. I'm excited about this. This this is a lot of hard work you put into this. and a couple years. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited, and I'm glad we can help you uh, get the word out on this.